Well, it's sugar cane planting day, I guess. This stuff is growed and growed in the greenhouse, and it's too big to do anything with other than plant. I know it's early. It's probably going to frost again here in Tennessee. But it's got to go. I mean, this stuff is 24, 30 inches tall. Growing in solo cups. Want to be solo cups. But I've started the dirt process. I'm tilling rolls and adding compost. And when I get this done, I'm finna start digging holes and setting sugar cane. I thought I'd invite y'all along. This is an adventure for me, and I'll let it be an adventure for you if you want to watch. Keep up with it. We'll see how sugar cane does in Tennessee. I planted this stuff around Christmas. Well, I planted it for Christmas. I planted it in early December. But it is a tropical plant. I think they say 16 or 18 months to maturity. I can't give it that. I, I, we just don't have that kind of warm weather. But I'm going to give it 10, 11 months anyway. Might, won't hardly make it 12. It'll be cold come October. But whatever we get, we're going to get. We're going to try it anyway. We're going to try to harvest some syrup. We're going to try to harvest some cane for replanting. We'll stick with us and we'll see how this works. Oh, well, one roll down, one roll to go. I got some extra help today. We shoveled out holes about a foot apart on this first one. Realized that was a whole lot of trouble. The next one with the tiller run left a pretty good ditch, so I just took the shovel and cleaned it out. I think that'd be the better of the choices. We're just gonna lay it in the ditch and pull the dirt to it. But we've got the compost in the ground. I, it probably needs more, but it's about all I can stand to do right now. But every year we do this, it'll add to the soil, it'll make it better. We're gonna see what sugar cane does in Tennessee. That sugar cane pretty much comes up to my pocket, already in the ground. So much really tall. I hope in 10 or 11 months we're able to make some sugar syrup. Sugar cane syrup or We're going to make something sweet out of it anyway. Next purchase is going to have to be the sugar cane press. I don't have one yet. I've got my eyes on one. We're going to get back to the next row. We're going to get it done, and I'll show you the finished product. Well, I've got two rolls in. He's, I don't know. A little over 40 plants. I didn't count them. But they's a little over 20 in each row. I think that's 22, or 3 in one, and 21 in the other, or something like that. Rough guesstimate. Digging the trench was, was a lot easier. A long run, because we could just set them and go. They're a little thin in places. We had 48 when we started. We lost a few over time trying to get them to grow. But we've got sugar cane. My son was helping me. He's not much on this YouTube idea. He, he's about like I used to be, and I still don't like it a whole lot, talking on the video, but he didn't want to be on it. But well, we was cutting up, buddy. It. it looks like corn. I said, yeah, your buddy's going to drive by and see it, or the neighbors that he knows real well is going to look out and say, why in the world are they planting corn out of cups? Who in the world would plant corn this time of year out of a cup? I told him we'd have fun with it. I told me it also looks like green grays. Tell me, just tell them we're going to raise cows and we're planting green grays. It'll be fine. Have fun with it. We'll eventually tell them it's sugar cane. But we've got our trial version of sugar cane growing in Tennessee. Stay tuned. We'll see what it turns into. Y'all have a good week.